Hello, it's been a while, but welcome back to Zone 9B. The roses I ordered from David Austin came with a plan to guide, so that's what we'll be following this year. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. So you can see, they divide America into six regions. I'm in the southeast region. Each region has a different schedule, and depending on where you are, the schedule will change. For instance, in the Southwest and South California, spring pruning begins in January and February, as opposed to February in the South Central and Lower Midwest. Since I'm in the Southeast, spring pruning started in January. I kind of missed it, but that's okay. Because it's spring, for the purposes of this video, I'll only be focusing on the January and February tasks. So here I'm about to do a heavy or hard prune of my roses. A hard prune is when you cut your roses down to four to five inches. I always strip my roses bare to the stems with no leaves, as you'll see. Practice good hygiene by cleaning your shears with bleach water in between cuts. There are many benefits to a hard prune. A hard prune is good for your roses. It gives you the opportunity to assess the health of your rose, to shape your rose, to promote better airflow, and to cut off dead or unhealthy portions of your rose. Your rose bush will respond positively to your hard prune. Energy will be dedicated into producing new growth. Both these next two roses had many canes which were crossing. Crossing canes can cause damage to the rose and problems with airflow. A hard prune is a good chance to fix this. I left this one a little high and I probably should have cut it down more. I went back and picked out all the fallen leaves. You don't want them there as they might have fungus or disease on them. And here I am hard pruning the other four roses. So the plan moving forward is to document the growth of the roses and to follow the schedule seen earlier in the video. And here's the finished product. And this is a glimpse of some future projects. Anyway, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.